Greetings. I will show you how to make adjustments to model poses in order to add more variety to your STL models. To do this, we will animate it in Blender. Start Blender. Click anywhere in the scene. Press A and delete to delete everything we don't need, such as light sources and cameras. And import your model. Select File and Import, STL, browse to your model, select View Perspective and Top. Use Scroll to scroll out and shift and middle mouse button pressed in order to pan. Now, in order to adjust the pose, we'll need to animate the model. And to do this, we'll need to add bones. Press shift A to access the add menu. Armature, single bone. Press tab and then adjust the bone length so that you can see it. You should also select the armature uh, tab from here and X-ray so that you can see it through the model. Uh, now, we'll adjust this to start from the boar's uh, tail-ish. And from the side. And then we can add more bones. There isn't any rule to this, just what you'd like to be able to articulate. Obviously you'll want a spine for the animal. You might want to adjust its tail. In order to add a bone, press E and then just move your mouse around to where you want to add it. Okay. You'll also want to animate its legs. And that's about it. Um, be careful when doing this that the bones are inside of the model. Obviously we'll need to adjust the spine so that it's closer to the animal's actual spine. Sort of like this. And the hip joints and the shoulders for the animal closer to the anatomical pos position for its shoulders. Uh, try to keep them inside of the model, but this isn't exactly mandatory. Now from the other side, its other hip should be here, and this one should be right around here. And just rotate the model around. This is a bit high. And make adjustments as you see fit. You will need some experience to see what needs adjusted and what not in order to animate it properly. Now, let's do the legs. Remember, press E to extrude and just follow the animal's anatomy. Alright, 
now let's see how this looks from the top actually from the bottom because I can see its legs from here that seems sort of adequate no not really so from the front I need to adjust this so that it is inside of the model This should be here, this should be here, and from the back. It's a bit confusing to uh, see all of them at once because they overlap. So what you can do if this happens is just hide the ones that you've already set. Uh, left, right click to select, keep shift pressed, select what you want to hide, then press H. And now you can more clearly see the ones that are left. Anyway, I'm fairly happy with what I've done here. So press Alt H to show all of the bones and tab to exit edit mode. Select the mesh of the model, press shift, you press uh, right click to select the mesh of the model, press shift and press right click again to select the skeleton. And now press ctrl T in order to parent the mesh to the skeleton you've created and use automatic weights. Now that that is done, you can start animating it. Select the skeleton by right clicking on it and then press Ctrl Tab. And this is now animation mode. You can right click on any of the bones and select, sorry, select one, press R and now you can rotate. I will just move the skeleton to a different view by pressing M to a different layer so that I can move it out of the way. Select both in order to work on your pose. Control tab again. And now let's say we'd like to adjust its head. Just do something like this. You'll notice that most of its head has moved except for this tusk. That's an error. We can just add more bones so that doesn't happen. But for this tutorial, let's just adjust a leg. Let's say I want to move this here. And move this here. And move this here. And straighten this one out a bit. Now, if one of these uh, bones affects vertices that you don't want it to, like for instance this one is affecting the belly, what you can do is add more bones in order to stabilize the vertices here. Anyway, uh, take a look at your adjustments, see if they're fine. What you need to do now is select File, Export as STL. Give it a name. And now you can import it into a slice. And that is all. Happy printing!